Hi guys, welcome to Creations by Karen. And today we're going to make another craft for my 2014 Christmas craft show. Uh, so you know you have to buy something for people and they have everything. Um, so whether it be, you know, your grandma or an aunt, somebody, but you know they have everything. They've gotten everything over the years and it's really difficult to find something for them. But I'm going to make something. <laughs> so I got these um, at... Uh, my local giant tiger if you live in the u.s uh just go to like an inexpensive department store i guess um in canada is where i live uh giant tiger tends to be the one that i go to all right so we're going to make this and we're going to we're going to use this and we're going to make this right so i've jazzed it up so you can give this uh little it's a throw cover um, so if she's sitting watching TV or sitting in a chair reading, she's going to like this, right? So let's go ahead and make it. So you're going to take this and what I found the easiest way to do, and it took me a while, um, but I just took two rubber bands. This came around, I think broccoli. I don't know. No, probably not broccoli, but something. And I just put this here. Because I don't want this to unravel because I want to reuse this part. So just take this rubber band and come around. Just find one that fits. And if you're using a bigger throw, then uh, use a bigger uh, elastic. Anyways, once again, just put it around. Pretty easy to do. So that's secure on there. I know this is not going to unravel. And that's key. <laughs> Um, and then I wanted to take this part off, this piece of uh, cardboard, and got my handy picker that I got from Dollar Store. And I'm just going to slowly remove this tape that's securing this on here. So you don't want to rip this part, so you want to be very gentle when you do this. I think this would be great addition to my craft show. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. First time I've made them, so I don't know. So I'm just taking the excess uh, tape off of this part. So this is what you're left with. <laughs> so I'm keeping this. Don't throw this away. You're going to need this. So just make sure that this stays secure on here. So you're going to take this part now, put this aside for a sec, and we're going to wrap this in wrapping paper. That, and I wanted good quality wrapping paper, so I got this at Michael's. And if you have a stash of wrapping paper that you got last year, use them. So I'm just going to cut some wrapping paper to cover this part. So I want to make sure it meets in the center-ish, <laughs> keyword. Ish. I don't know if that's a word at all. Take some scissors. Uh, let's see. Here's some. So I'm just going to cut a piece of this uh, paper. And these got grid lines on, which I really like. So when you buy uh, wrapping paper at the dollar store, it probably doesn't have these grid lines. And I like the grid lines. Now this is obviously too long, but we're going to cut it off. Don't worry. So just put this aside. I like this wrapping paper. It's really thick and it's pretty. I like it. So I'm just going to place this down. And I want to leave about one of those grid lines square. So about an inch. And so I know I want to cut it here. And you can make this any way you want, but this is the way I'm making it. And I've got uh, these throws in blue, in case you want to get them or make one for your grandpa. Or um, maybe I'll save this, because you never know what I'm going to do with it. That's what I say all the time. And then I do a clean out after Christmas, and I throw it all out. But anyways, let's go on. Um, I want to secure this to here. So... I want this to look really clean looking. 
Um, so I've got my tape and I'm using clear tape. Make sure you use clear. So I think what I need to do is just these, I know you can't see these grid lines, but they are on here. So here's a grid line here. And I want to come down one and I just want to fold this down so I know it's on straight. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to secure this right in the center. See how this is curling? Don't worry about it. Okay, take some tape. On the outside, it doesn't, or the inside, it doesn't matter what kind of tape you're using. I only buy transparent tape when I'm doing crafts. Uh, but do it what you want. It, do whatever works for you. So I go at one in the center and one on either side. Perfect. Okay. And then I take the bottom and it come up and make sure this is really snug and uniform so I'm just going to secure this down with some tape <clears throat> So make sure it's exactly where you want it before you put your tape on. Easy. It's pretty easy craft. <laughs> and for my Canadian friends, happy Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving Monday here in Canada. And I'm off. So that's great. So you get to the ends and you just want to make like a regular fold like you would on a gift. So turn this, right, and turn the other side. And this gives a really clean look. Just like that. And I'm going to turn this up. Don't worry if you've got extra. That's not going to matter. It's in the inside. They're going to throw this away. <laughs> I can guarantee you they're not going to save it. You're going to throw it away. You spend so much time wrapping gifts. I mean, I'm not a bag person. Uh, I don't like uh, things in bags. I think that's the lazy man's way of doing things. That's just my thought process. It means nothing, really. The only time I use bags um, for gifts is at my craft shows. I always buy nice bags. Okay. So that side's done. If you have a little overhang, just turn it and do this side. Turn and turn. Okay. And then you take this and you tape it just like you did the other side. See how it's rolling? That's okay. And if it, like if it's not perfect, no worries. It's going to be somebody that you love. Um, I was going to put something on there so you could see. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to continue on putting some tape. There we go. And another piece. And here comes the reason why you put that rubber band on there. It's because we're going to secure this to the that uh, throw blanket. But before you do... Find the center, if you can, and I'm going to put two holes in it with my punch. So, punch. There's my punch. Once again, come to the center. That's where center is. And I just come right down with my punch, make two holes. And this doesn't take, it's not hard to do. Okay, so there's your holes. But once again, before we put this on, we're going to put some twine through those holes. Because we're going to secure something to it. And I got these, I don't know, I got this twine. It was in my stash. I don't know where it came from. It's in there. It must have been for an ornament or something. But I just feed my uh, twine through. 
the holes. And apparently it's not that great because it's fraying, but no worries. And this might be a good time to put your glue gun on. Just come in and put those holes in, just like that. Right, and then I just want to tie this securely. Why you ask? Well, I'll tell you in a minute. Right, so there we go. Just tie it in a knot. Don't have to worry about it. So we're going to fix this to the throat that I put the uh, elastic bands on to keep it this exact same size it was because I'm using reusing this, remember? So I know that I want this at the back. So I'm just going to come to the front, place this down on here and come around and I'm going to secure it to the back. And I'm securing it with tape. Um, I tried other things. Tape is the best. <laughs> um, and so I'm pretty generous with the tape when I'm doing this. Make sure it's secure on there. Because you put an extra layer, so you want to make sure it's going to stay. And one more piece. Just to make sure it's perfect on there. Here we go. Okay. So that's where we're at so far. I'm going with the red and white and green theme here this year on my booth. So everything is going to be candy cane. So, <clears throat> all right. I'm going to call it candy cane lane. <laughs> all right. So here's this part. That's good. We're ready. Um, so I found also at Dollar Tree these cute ornaments. So I'm going to open this up, take this tape off, and take one of these ornaments out. So I didn't really want to cut that string, that hang-in string, because it's sewn right into here. So I came to the center, and this is the only way that I figured it out. It's just taking this and tucking this down so it's like this, okay? Just tuck it down. And I think it'll it should his hat should be at right where the bottom hole you've made is. Take some tape because you want to secure this on here. It's just an extra decoration for it. But these are not going to cost a lot of money. They certainly cost, so I'm going to say it cost me maybe $4 for the throw. So you don't want to charge a lot of money for it. Okay, so that's on there. I like it. He's cute. He's hanging. He's dangling. So then I got some ribbon. Um, white ribbon. Where's my white ribbon? Right here. And I'm going to put white ribbon on here, keeping with the candy cane theme. So I start at the back. And there's a reason for everything that I do. So just, just hang on. And I'm going to, I want to cover these holes eventually. Like that. The holes. So you probably don't need, you don't need these pieces, this twine here. I don't know why I put it on there. Maybe the first time I made one that was a disaster. So let's put the ribbon, cut the ribbon off. But I, you need the holes to tuck everything in. So I just come down about an inch. And I just put some tape right at the back. And I just want to make sure this goes on straight. And you're not going to need a lot of it. So I try 
try to be precise if you can. And I'm just going to secure that down with tape. And this is very snug. So the key here is not to um, like to secure that blanket or throw with something before you uh, do anything to it. Okay, so there's where we at. Got the little dangly gnome here, and we got a ribbon. Now, I on my computer printed out. I know this is backwards for you guys. Uh, just settle in for a long winter's nap. Happy holidays. Uh, so I'm going to cut one of these off. So I want to trim it fairly close to the edge of the letters. Just like that. Throw that out. So I'll probably say a quarter of an inch from the top. Don't want to uh, go too far. My blade is fairly dull. So come to the bottom. Do the same thing. About a quarter of an inch. So that's perfect. Put this one aside for the next one. Now, I've got some scrap. Remember scrap that I said, don't throw the scraps out. You're going to need them. I found one. <laughs> that's perfect for this. So I want to put this on here. So I want it to be fairly precise because uh, that's just me. I like things precise. So I'm going to hot glue or use my, my uh, art glitter glue. Make sure your hot glue is turned on. You're going to need it. Just come in. Yeah, I remember now why I had that. Um, I had a brain fade. Hang on. Just put this down here. We're going to cut this in a minute. So I'm going to need that to dry. So I've got to go back to there because i got to... <sighs> okay. I'm going to put that there for a minute. So this is where I needed my... Uh... My string. I had a rough night. I didn't sleep very good. Just gonna cut this off here because I've knotted it and cut it and done all those things I shouldn't have. We all make mistakes. That's okay. We'll fix it. I'm gonna go back in, make sure that hole's there still. I put tape on it, so so I'm gonna have to feed that through. So I'm gonna need my. So I'm going to use my uh, wire things, put them in here. That's why you always have your uh, little toolbox, whoops, handy. So just come through. Okay, now I've completely cut that. That's okay. Let's just put some tape on it. You're not going to see this part. It's going to be covered up. The only person that's going to know it's there is you. So I just want a thin piece of tape. Let's put this on here. Just secure it. And I just tie this in a knot. There we go. Yeah, I don't want this to pull up. I just want it to make sure it's secure. 
So the two holes that you put on first, that's why you need this ribbon. Just feed it through. Because you don't want that to come off. Is it secure? Yeah. Okay. Moving forward. Remember I placed my saying on here and I got this red. And I don't want this very wide, so I've got my wire, uh, my um, crazy. Uh, I just want this to be less, I mean, about an eighth of an inch all the way around. So what I do is I just put this to the edge of the white. Keep that. You can put, do one more with it. So that's how big I want the edge to be. It's still red. So come over here on this part, just till the white shows. Cut it. And you can do this any way you want. You can attach a card to it. You can do whatever you like. Purely inspirational. <laughs> If you haven't already done so, go ahead and like and subscribe so you're not going to miss any of my tutorials that I'm making for the craft that I'm making for my Christmas craft show. <clears throat> and then just come to the last side and down. You want this to be very precise. Well, this is the way I like to do it, but. I'm, I like things precise. Okay, so that's like perfect. See how it's held away? And this saying says, just settle in for a long winter snap. Happy holidays. I did it on my computer. You can do it any way you like. Now I'm just going to um, punch a hole in the corner of it. I guess I'm going to fix that to that ribbon I hung out that I had to redo and put tape on. And... So there we go. Just put it through. Now, I did notice when I made this before, this ribbon unravels a lot, but that's okay. We'll make it work. I'm going to cut it off anyway. Just come through. So your tag is hanging. Just like that. Cut the ends off. Just like that. Okay, so now we got a gnome that's hanging where the tag is. Cute, eh? uh, now I'm going to do a bow with this ribbon that I used that went around. Uh, so I'm just making a simple bow and I leave about maybe four inches tail. So come around. Just make a simple bow with two loops. Try to make sure they're the same size. You don't need a bow maker for this part. <clears throat> then you could take another piece of that twine you had, the excess stuff. I'm just going to tie it in the center. I'm going to cut a piece off. Then take this. going to come this way. This is not double-sided ribbon. This is just regular from my stash from last year. I got a lot of it. I'm glad too because I never know what kind of theme I'm going to have each year. So I'm glad I went, had bought a lot of uh, red and white ribbon. Make sure those tails are facing down. 
I'm going to be trimming it. Don't worry about it. Just want to make sure this is in the center. Come around and just tie this in a knot. like so. Cut this part off. And you're going to take another little piece for the center. Here's the center. Look at the glitter. I got glitter. Only cut about, uh, I don't know, two inches or so off there. Covered in glitter. Tis the season to be covered in glitter. Just kind of fold this in half. And this just goes into the center of your bow. Okay? So I start at the back. This is where the hot glue comes in. So you got your hot glue. Just going to put a dab of hot glue on the uh, center part. And you're going to affix this onto the back. Make sure the glitter part is facing you. Because I learned the hard way. <laughs> Just hold that for a sec. Good. Come around. Don't worry about your uh, twine you put on. You can see it through this ribbon which is great. Once you get to the back, make sure your tails are hanging down and facing the correct way. And I'm just going to put some glue on here. <clears throat> make sure this comes is secure on here. And you got to hold it for a sec. Pretty ribbon. I like it. To get some blue ribbon. I've got ones that are, are um, blue. Blanket throws that are blue. I need some blue ribbon. I'll have to wait for them to be two for one at Michael's. <clears throat> Alright, just cut that excess piece off. like that and then I'm just going to glue this to here but not on the blanket <laughs> onto the top part right here right where the holes are be generous with the glue you don't want it to fall off and I'm just going to place this right down where I, right where those dots are. And that's covering up the um, twine that's holding the sign. Make sure the little gnome's where you want them to be. So just hold that nice and secure for a second, just to make sure that it's not going to come off. Maybe I want him in the center. I do. I want him in the center. Gnomes are crazy popular. I don't know what it is. I'm not the biggest fan of gnomes, but you don't necessarily have to be the biggest fan about things. You just have to do things that people want. Okay, fluff your ribbon. We're going to ducktail the ends. Ducktailing a means, of course, just folding it and cutting it on an angle. I 
I like things to look precise. It's just my style. Call me OCD. I'm okay with it. Okay. Now, guess what have we got? Cute, eh? So I'm going to just have to take our um, rubber bands off. And it's not going anywhere. There you go, guys. Another craft for your Christmas craft show. Or if you want to make these for somebody that you love, they're going to like it. Um, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any tutorials that I'm doing for the 2024 craft season. And until next time, love you all. Bye now.